Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? I am Barnacles of Nerdgasm. Prepare to be assimilated. Alright guys, well as you might have guessed, we're playing with lasers tonight. And not just any lasers, we're playing with a wicked laser. This is a new laser I just picked up. It's the, from the Nano series. And it comes in a really, really, really nice pouch here that you have. It has a utility belt clip right here that's Velcro. And it snaps so you don't lose your laser when you're out in the wilderness pissing off squirrels and stuff. Um, it's actually really, really nice and high quality. And then here's the laser itself. Um, by Wicked Lasers, and I was actually impressed. It's actually a pretty hefty laser. Everything on it's metal, which is what I'd expect from a laser of this caliber. And it says right here on the sticker, it says uh, it's less than 500 milliwatt, uh, 532 nano nanometer uh, for the light, and it says it's a class 3B laser product. So, and it's the green laser, and it says don't shine it at aircrafts or shine it in your eyes. Come on guys, you should be smart enough to know that, right? Um, and honestly, you should wear eye protection, but they didn't send me any eye protection when they sent me the laser, so I'm not going to be using eye protection. But I promise not to shine it at anything shiny and burn my eyes out. And if I do, you guys can laugh hysterical at me and leave comments saying how much of a noob I am. But anyways, taking a look at this right here, it's actually really cool. It's textured. Um, it's got like some cross grooves in it and stuff. It makes it really easy to hold. It has a momentary switch on it. If you break the laser down... It has a UV filter, or an IR filter, I can't remember. I think it's IR. It has an IR filter on it. Um, I did a little reading online. Don't take that off. Don't. Because uh, I was thinking about taking it off. I was like, oh, maybe I can get something to burn, because I couldn't really get anything to burn very well with this. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll just take that off. No, don't take that off, because it'll expose you to light you don't see that's going to do damage. Um, but the host itself is all metal. feels like it's made out of aluminum. I'm pretty sure it is, but the cap there, if you take off, you saw I showed you the filter. If you flip around the other end, this cap comes off right here. This is the end of the battery compartment, and you can even unscrew the end off this. And there's two little screws down in there that you can hook a switch to. So if you want an external switch, like if you want to permanently mount this uh, for a scientific experiment or, uh, I don't know, pick your poison, uh, you can do that. And I thought that was a pretty cool feature. So putting it back together, the laser is powered by two triple A's. I've got two Kirkland signature batteries in here. Woo, no dur I didn't even find the Duracells. <laughs> so um, one thing to note with this laser is you do have to put the batteries in what I would consider backwards, the positive facing towards the bottom, not like a typical flashlight. Um, just remember that or else you might see some magic smoke. Just saying. So screw that all together. And now you got the laser and it's got a momentary switch. You can see right there, whew, that thing's bright as hell. The camera probably doesn't do it justice. But there it is. It's bright. You can actually see the beam. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but you can actually, the, the beam is, is coherent. You can actually see it. Um, and if you double tap the switch, it stays on. So now I don't have to hold the switch at all. I can just move it around. And then one click turns it off. If you hold it, it stays on until you let go. Two taps and it stays on. So I actually like that. I think that's pretty cool. Now, for a point of reference, I don't have another green laser. Probably should have mentioned this as a green laser in the beginning of the video. And they do come in multiple different colors. I just chose green. Uh, I have a red laser here. This is my cat toy. And this one on the back of it says, uh, max output of less than 5 milliwatts. And it's 650 nanometers. So if you look at this one, this kind of give you, I guess, a little bit of contrast. So there's, there's my little red dot. It's weak as heck. Honestly, I could probably point this thing right into my eye all day and it wouldn't do anything. This thing's weak as hell. Not that I'm going to do that, okay? So laser fanatics that find my video, please do not dislike and shit all over it thinking that I'm an unsafe laser operator. I am, well, I'm probably still an unsafe laser operator, but I'm trying, okay? So here we go. There's our red. And there's our green. You can kind of see a brightness difference there <laughs> by, by quite a bit. Uh... The other thing is I took this thing outside and we might take it outside here in a little while. This thing casts a beam forever. You can see this thing for miles, which I think is absolutely wicked cool. Um, probably scares the shit out of the neighbors though, so we'll keep it to a minimum and run inside before anybody calls the cops. But uh, I absolutely love this laser. This, this is probably the coolest laser that I own. Um, I do have another laser that's a Blu-ray that I had a friend build me. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it. It's somewhere up here. Maybe I'll do another video on that if you guys want. But it uses a Blu-ray diode and CR123 batteries. 
and that thing will burn. That thing's a burning laser, unlike this, but I think between the two of them, this one's still brighter. Um, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and take it out and laze things. I think that's the terminology, right? Do a little lazing and see how cool this thing is. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and shine it on. I got a little bit of light on in the room. You can see the little laser shining over there. The thing lights up the whole room. It's got the camera on a pretty high ISO. So let me go ahead and turn out the lights. So now the room's pretty much pitch black. And now you can see the beam. There's no fog or smoke in this room. See the beam and I'll shine it at the light, light bulb. It's a fluorescent light bulb. You can see it lights up the entire room. It's actually really, really freaking cool. Let me see if I can find the red one for comparison. Okay, so here's the red one, guys. Can you see that? That's the red one lighting up the bulb. This is the green one. See a little bit of a difference there in light output? Red one. Cat toy. Green one freaking epic look it lights up the whole room like if I just point it up at the ceiling you can see everything if I point up the bulb on the ceiling lights up the room pretty damn cool so there's the red one there's the green one little bit of a difference in power output there guys all right guys now we're standing outside of my house here can't see anything it's really dark alongside it but I'll turn on the little red laser pointer. I'm pointing at my shed down there. See that little dot down there? That's my shed. It's about, I don't know, let's say 50 feet away. So you can see the dot. There's the dot on the grass. And there it is on my foot. Kind of gives you an idea. And then here's the green. I can completely see the beam. I don't think the camera's picking it up, but the beam, let's see if we can get it on there. I, I can completely see that beam. It's like a solid bar of light. And that one I'm not gonna put on my foot. There's my car. I mean, you can see it lighting up the yard. Pretty cool. That's just shining into the sky. Into the yard. All right, well, hopefully you guys got an idea of just how powerful this laser is. Um, I couldn't tell by looking at the camera screen if it was picking it up or not. But let's go ahead and put a little piece of tape down. Let's move it right about here. And go ahead and draw, draw a black spot on it to absorb all the light. And let's see if we can get this thing to even smoke. pretty bright. I can't look directly at it, so I'll also have to watch the camera afterwards. You can see green definitely isn't a, bur a real good burning laser color. But it is bright as hell. I think the batteries are starting to get a little weak. They say the batteries only last about a half an hour. Uh, for two double A's of continuous use, and I've been actually playing with this thing for a couple of days now. No damage. So if you want a burning laser, green's probably not the color to go with. But if you want a laser that's really brilliantly bright and is highly visible outside, this thing is awesome. Well guys, there you have it. This is the Wicked Nano Green. And it's, uh, again, 
It's the 532 nanometer, and it's a class 3B laser. Things solid metal construction, heavy duty with the batteries in it. Nothing rattles around. It's a uh, it's a solid laser, and uh, it's bright as hell. I hope the camera can do it justice because I took my just put it this way. It was so bright when I took it outside and shined it up in the sky. The laser looks like it just goes straight into space. But it was so bright when I went outside. I went in the house and got my wife and had her come outside and look at it, and she was even shocked at how bright it was. Um, but for some reason, looking at the viewfinder on the camera, I couldn't see the laser beam, and I couldn't figure out why my human eye can see it so much better. But outside, I mean, it is bright as hell, dude. It's like you're swinging around a freaking lightsaber. I'm surprised the neighbors and shit didn't come after me for it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Again, this is uh, the Wicked Lasers Nano. I will put a link down in the description if you guys want to go get more information on it. Uh, it's a fantastic laser. It's obvious that Wicked Laser is uh, definitely paving the way for some really, really high quality consumer lasers. Now that I've had a chance to try their Nano, I'm actually really tempted now to try one of their Arctics because their Arctics are a watt of power, and that's just insane. If you think about it, a watt of power. I don't have anything to measure what this thing's putting out, but I'd have to guess it's somewhere in like the 30 milliwatt range or something like that. I want to see what the Arctic can do. So hopefully I can get a hold of one of those and show it to you guys. But anyways, I hope this gave you a nerdgasm. It sure as hell did me because who doesn't like to play with lasers? Seriously. And uh, for all you, you total laser Nazis out there in uh, laser Nazi land, uh, I would have wore protective glasses if I had them. But again, it's not a very powerful laser and I wasn't shining it at anything or looking directly at it. So and my eyes feel completely fine. So if I get cancer, then I'm sorry. I will... You guys can bitch about it in the comments when I post my I found out I have cancer today video. But until then, have an ergasm and take it easy until next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.